a lot of people, you read their story of coming on the path, and at the beginning of the story is, I felt there was something missing in my life. I felt there was something more. I felt that, I felt this. That feeling is from the soul, and it whispers from eternity that you're more. There's more, there's much more. Because we remember how great the love of the Divine Mother is. We remember how much we potentially could love. We see it in the Masters, we see Yogananda, the Buddha, we see Christ, and we see infinite love, and there's a part of us that says, you can do that, you can get there. The soul says, yes, you can, you can do that. You can be more, you can be infinite, you can be loving, you can be like Yogananda. You can be like Christ. You can be like Lahiri Morsha, Ananda Moe Ma, Teresa Vavala, Kuan Yin. Whatever image of divinity you can digest, the soul is saying, yes, go, do it. So that's one aspect, but we need to incorporate that consciousness into our daily life. When we leave the meditation practice, we have to leave it with that expanded sense of who we are. We have to be spirit. Don't hold on to your mistakes or your achievements because they're, they're just so small compared to what could be. Expand your sense of what you're seeing around you. And yes, you love others, but try to feel that what's happening is that the divine love, infinite love, is flowing through you, and that you're a channel for God's love. You're a channel for God's prosperity. You made a donation to the Temple of Light, good, but it's really the Divine Mother donating to the Temple of Light, helping people, teaching people. If you're a teacher, if you're sharing wisdom or knowledge, Try to feel that it's infinite wisdom, jnana, an aspect of God that's flowing through you. And whatever you do and whatever you see around you, try to feel it's not you. There's no ego there. Look beyond the appearance of evil and darkness and poverty and suffering and rudeness and look to the light of God that is animating everything. That's who you are. That's what is really happening. And that's the way the saints see it. That's how we need to see it. Master left the all day meditation one day. He looked out. He just, he saw everyone sort of filing out. He said, silver light and golden light. Don't know how beautiful you are. That is the reality. Each of us needs to remember that. Each of us needs to reverse the case. Don't spend your time looking at your shortcomings. Look at the effort that you're making towards self-realization and look at every human being because in, in some way they're striving for greater love, for greater kindness, for greater wisdom. All of us are directionally beings of light and love. Concentrate on that, and you're going to find that the world looks like that more and more.